Welcome to day 12, where we're going to be solving another problem from the AccuPlacer Advanced Algebra and Functions test. So we're now officially on to problem 12 for day 12. So we're going to solve this together. I'm going to give you some background information, and you'll feel like you can go ahead and solve another problem that's similar to this. And that's what we're going to go ahead and do. We're going to do another problem just to make sure you feel confident with the skills that you learned. Okay, so let's start with the original. It says, for which of the following equations is x equal to 6 the only solution? So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to find the solutions for each one of these equations. So let's go ahead and start with the first one. It's 6x squared is equal to 0. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write this as 6x times 6x. Why did I do that? Well, anything squared, so say you have 4 squared, that's the same thing as saying 4 times 4. So if you have 6x squared, that's the same as saying 6x times 6x. Keep this in mind for the rest of the problems as well. But if we go back to what we were working on, instead of writing 6x squared, we now have it written 6x times 6x, and we're going to bring down equals 0. Okay, so now anytime you have an equation that's equal to zero, you can put each part of the equation equal to zero. So we can make 6x equal to zero, and then we can make this other 6x equal to zero. And now we have two separate equations that we can solve. How do we solve this? Well, remember, we want the x by itself. So how do we get the x by itself? In this case, the 6 is in its way. So we're going to divide both sides by 6. The 6s are going to cancel each other out, and we're going to have x is equal to 0 divided by 6, which is just equal to 0. Again, we're going to do this. We're going to solve this second equation. 6x is equal to 0. We're solving for x, so we need to have the x by itself. Right now, the 6 is in the way of the x being by itself. Anytime you have two numbers side by side like that, or a number and a letter side by side, they're being multiplied. So 6x is the same as saying 6 times x. So in order to get rid of the 6, we have to do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So we're going to divide both sides by 6. The 6s are going to cancel each other out, and you're going to be x is equal to 0 divided by 6, which is just equal to 0. So now we found the two solutions x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 0. So technically, it's just one solution. But the question is asking, for which of these equations is x equal to 6 the only solution? But in this stance or this circumstance, x is not equal to 6 when you solve either of these equations. So it's not going to be A. All right, so I'm going to erase that. And we're now going to look at choice B x, we're going to do x minus 6 squared is equal to 0. We're going to rewrite this as x minus 6 times x minus 6. Why do we do that? Because it's squared. Squaring something is just multiplying it against itself. So that's why we did that. And then we're going to make it equal to 0. Now we're going to set each side of this equation equal to 0. We set this equal to 0 and this equal to 0. So now we have two equations to solve. They're the same equation, so we're going to end up getting the same answer. But we're going to go ahead and we're just going to solve it. So again, we want to get the x by itself. Right now, the negative 6 is causing the x to not be by itself. What do we do? We do the opposite of subtraction, which is addition. And we add 6 to both sides. The 6s cancel each other out, and you're left with x on this side. And 0 plus 6 is equal to 6, so we have x is equal to 6 as our answer. I'm going to do it one more time. Again, I'm going to add 6 to both sides. The 6s cancel out. x is equal to 6. So when you solve the equations, you get 6 as the solution. So for which of the following equations is x equal to 6 the only solution? Right now, x is equal to 6 is the only solution. So it works out for option B. But I would say if you have time in your test, continue to to solve the problems because you may have done something wrong and you may end up with two scenarios and then you'll have to go back and check. 
So I would always recommend that if you are time constraint, go ahead and just write B as the answer and move on. But if you have enough time, go ahead and test the other options as well. So let's go ahead and continue to test the other options because these other options may come first on your test. So I want you to still be able to see how we solve them. So the next equation is x plus 6 squared equals 0. So again, we're going to rewrite that as x plus 6 times x plus 6 equals 0. And then we're going to set each side equal to 0. x plus 6 equals 0 and x plus 6 equals 0. We have two equations now to solve. They're the same, but we're going to go ahead and solve them. So in order to get the x by itself, what do we do? Well, right now, it's the 6 is being added, so we're going to subtract 6 from both sides. The 6s cancel each other out, and you have x is equal to 0 minus 6, which is negative 6. Okay, and we're going to subtract 6 from both sides. x is equal to negative 6. So in this situation, negative 6 is the only solution. So we're looking for an equation where x is positive 6. So c is not the choice. And now let's go ahead and look at option B, see what happens there. So now we have x minus 6, x plus 6 equals 0. There's no square in this equation, so we don't have to rewrite it. But now we can just set each side equal to 0. x minus 6 equals 0, and x plus 6 equals 0. So these are two different equations, and we're going to go ahead and solve them both. So x minus 6. So because it's being subtracted now, we have to do the opposite, which is add 6 to both sides. So x is equal to 6. On this side, because 6 is being added, we're going to go ahead and subtract 6 from both sides. The 6s cancel each other out, and x is equal to negative 6. So for this equation here, there's two solutions, x equals 6, and x is equal to negative 6. So they said positive 6 has to be the only solution. Although it is one of the solutions, it's not the only solution. There's also another number, a negative 6, as a solution. So D also would not be the correct answer. So we did get the answer correct. The answer is going to be, the answer is B, because B was the only equation that had X equals to 6 as the only solution. Now, some of you may feel that I'm going a little bit quick when it comes to some of the math. That's because in some of my other videos, I teach how to solve basic two-step equations. If you're struggling with that aspect of it, then please go ahead and watch that video. I may link it in the description once I'm finished and once I post this. But for those of you who are able to see how I did this problem by just separating them, putting them equal to zero and solving, now we're gonna go ahead and try to use those same skills in this next question. And this is to see if we really understood what we were learning in the last one. So for which of the following equations is x equal to two the only solution? So let's go ahead and solve each one of them at a time. So let's take a, two x squared is equal to zero. What do we do first? We write this into two parts, two x, times 2x is equal to 0. Then we set each part equal to 0. 2x equals 0. 2x equals 0. Same equation. We're going to end up with the same answer, but let's go ahead and solve it. Because the 2 is right next to the x, they're being multiplied. So to get rid of the 2, you have to divide by 2. So divide both sides by 2. The 2s cancel out, and you're left with x is equal to 0 divided by 2, which is just equal to 0. Again, the 2 is being multiplied by the x. To get rid of the 2, you divide by 2. And x will be equal to, oops, sorry, x is equal to 0. So for the first one, a, x is equal to 0, not 2. So the answer would not be a. Let's go ahead and move on to the next equation. x minus 2 squared equals 0. Again, we're going to write this out x minus 2 times x minus 2 equals 0. We're going to set these both equal to 0. x minus 2 equals 0, and x minus 2 equals 0. Same equation, but we are going to do it twice just to practice.
because the x is being subtracted, because the 2 is being subtracted, we're going to add 2 to both sides. x is going to be equal to 2. Because the 2 is being subtracted, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to add 2 to both sides. x is equal to 2. So the only solution to this problem is x equals 2. So x is equal to 2 is the only solution for b. So that's possibly the answer. Let's go ahead and circle it. But again, we're going to continue to test out the other options just in case those other options come first and the answer or the right answer may be d. So let's go ahead and test it out. x plus 2 squared equals 0. So we're going to do x plus 2 times x plus 2 equals 0. So then we're going to set each of those equal to 0. And then we're going to solve. Because the the 2 is being added, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to subtract 2 from both sides. x is equal to negative 2. We're going to subtract 2 from both sides. x is equal to negative 2. So for c, x is equal to negative 2. We're trying to find one equation that has x equals positive 2. So c is not the answer. And now let's go ahead and do d, which is x plus 2, x minus 2 equals 0. There's no squared anywhere here, so we don't have to um, put anything apart. They're already separated. Now we're just going to put each part equals 0. x plus 2 equals 0. x minus 2 equals 0. To get rid of this 2 here, we're going to subtract it from both sides. x is equal to negative 2. To get rid of this negative 2, we're going to do the opposite, so we're going to add both sides. So x is equal to positive 2. So this last equation has two solutions, negative 2 and positive 2. So it's not the correct answer because we're looking for an equation where x equals 2 is the only solution. It does have x equals 2 as a solution, but it's not the only one. There's another solution, a different one, which is negative 2. So our answer is correct. It is going to be B because B is the only one who had X equals positive 2 as the only answer. All right. So I hope this question, these two questions going over them the way that we did has helped you guys. Again, I want to show you how to combine the skills that you should already have um, to answer these problems. But again, if when I was solving these equations or getting X by itself, if that was difficult for you, then you need to go and practice how to solve equations, how to solve two-step equations, and then come back to this video so that you can practice how to find out if an equation has one or two or multiple solutions. So I hope this helped you in your studies and stay tuned for day 13. See you soon.